we live in a world of fluids, where flow is often controlled by the twist of a knob. Bringing the fluid to this position, though, requires large amounts of piping construction, pumping machinery, and controlling devices. The movement of the fluid is managed by pumps, machines that transfer a fluid from a source or container through the pipes to a receiver or another container. Centrifugal pumps are the most common systems used for this operation. The essential parts of a centrifugal pump are the impeller, or rotating member, and the case, or housing, surrounding the rotating member. Velocity is imparted to the fluid by rotating the impeller at high speeds. A series of valves control the flow of the pumped fluid. By opening, closing, or obstructing internal ports or passageways, direction and flow are regulated. Pumps and valves require the use of a fluid sealing device. Our focus will be directed to the sealing method referred to as mechanical packing. Rings of pliable material are installed around the shaft or stem of pumps and valves to contain process fluids and eliminate fluid loss. The objective of this video program is to show how mechanical packing is manufactured. Spools of yarn are received from an approved supplier. In the winding area, each spool is inspected, logged in, and readied for use. The spool is placed on a rotating rod and pulled through a lubrication holding tank, coating the yarn and sealing it against the environment. The coated yarn is then rewound onto metal bobbins in preparation for the actual manufacturing process. From the winding room, the bobbins are taken to the braiding area, where they will be placed onto the rotating spindles of the specially designed braiding unit. Each machine in the ventilated housing unit is programmed to interwind the separate yarns to a specified cross-sectional dimension. Compression packings are made in a variety of shapes, sizes, constructions, and from numerous types of materials. To function properly, a mechanical packing must have certain basic physical properties. Resiliency, chemical resistance, strength. These properties are directly related to the materials, the braid styles, and the lubricants that are used in the construction process. Resiliency gives the packing the ability to take the shape of the surfaces of the stuffing box it assures that the packing can spring back or recover from compression. Chemical resistance prevents attack by the fluid that is being sealed. Strength protects the packing from physical damage, particularly by eccentric shaft rotation or high internal pressures. To achieve high levels of quality control during the final manufacturing phase, precision squaring of the packing is necessary. Squareness ensures that the packings will fit snugly against each other when they are installed as ring sets in a pump or valve. The specially designed machinery provides consistent size and density to the packing lengths. During the course of this squaring operation, the lengths will be measured with a vernier caliper to confirm the cross-sectional sizing. The squared lengths are then wound onto a spool in preparation for packaging. This wrapping method will eliminate possible damage to the packing material during shipment, use, and inventory storage by the end user. Once the coiling is completed, the packing is cut away from the lengths and stapled down. 
The spool is then weighed and ready for final packaging. The spool will be placed in a box containing product information and installation instructions.